So my friends, we're starting a first real speed benchy according to the speed benchy rules. We're aiming for something under 14 minutes, hopefully. So let's see if we are successful on the yeah, first day of the Boron V0 being operational. So let's do the first one now. Let's see what we get. If it still hits the wall, then I think we're still having too much aggressive values. Is it too much? Or is it working? I'm wondering. Yeah, I think it's, it's probably at the limits of the hot end, so flow limit could be a problem. Yeah, but we're still, we're still, we're still printing. It's not the most beautiful, it's not gonna be the most beautiful Benji, obviously, because we have some under exclusion problems. Maybe we need to push the temperature, but it's already 230. At least we're not going to, uh, we don't have these step loss problems. Uh, but I think we have clearly an under extrusion issue. Not sure if we, um, should we push the temperature up a bit? That doesn't help too much, I guess. Does it? Okay, so it seems that we're, we're going to make it through this Benji print. With some issues, some under extrusion problems, but we're still gonna get something that's recognizable as a Benji. That's definitely possible. Not the most beautiful print though. Good.
Jutim Karman, see you next time. Next see you next time. I'm gonna upload the Benchy print. When we're successful, I'm gonna upload it as a separate video. So you can watch that tomorrow. Good night. Okay, so we're gonna finish this print. And we're also gonna call it the night. It's already one o'clock at night in Germany. But we've got a working printer, we got a Benchy printing fast. Not the most beautiful result, but still uh, recognizable as a Benchy. So, six minutes, 50 seconds in. Um, yeah, we're doing good. What does the slicer say? Still eight minutes, 40 seconds to go. Hmm. Maybe, maybe it's gonna be a little bit faster. Let's see. Seven PM Eastern Standard Time. Okay, now so not too late. Great, great, great. To be honest, guys, I'm happy that we made it so far through this build. I'm happy that we didn't have any, have any major hiccups so far. I mean, a couple of minor topics, uh, but nothing serious, surprisingly. Um, that also speaks for the quality of the kit from LDO. So about that, I'm actually really happy. All of the parts on high quality parts. And the only thing that could be better is the LDO manual because we have to jump back and forth so many times between the original and then the LDO version, and then another sub guide, and here another sub guide for a specific topic. So I think we had at least four different, five different guides open, jumping back and forth for this build. Uh, probably one of the most challenging 3D printer builds that I've did so far. And we're still not fully done, right? We have. Uh, we still have to do the side panels, the front door, and the top hat, and that's probably a couple more hours to go. Not that interesting in a way uh, anymore, probably, but finishing, our, finishing the complete build is definitely my goal. The other thing that we still need to do is the front display, um, because that's uh, definitely a nice add-on, um, maybe an for the housing, some LED lights, and eventually I'm thinking of um, carbonite filter system. Phone screen is off again, oh my goodness. Why are you doing this to me? Okay. So 10 minutes in. Is it realistic that we stay under 15 minutes? Probably not. I think we still have 
the, uh, it could be. It could be. Could be very close to 15. I'm not sure. Slicer says still four minutes 50 seconds to go. That's. Let's see. Let's see. But under 15 is already something that's that's a good achievement for for today. Since we're just tuning the settings and finding right temperatures and, and such such stuff stuff to do, it's probably not too bad. Um, good thing is we don't have any stringing anymore. We had stringing, probably was the material also um, a problem. Uh, the extruder, by the way, seems to work pretty well. Anyways, the, all of the parts seem to work super nicely. Electronics. Um, I, I can't complain. Actually, there's nothing to complain here. Finished in three minutes, 30 seconds. Let's see. Around about 15 minutes, I would say. Probably not under 15 minutes. We had to. We had to be under 15 minutes for the official um, V100 uh, serial number application. I don't know how, how the rules are for Voron. If you, if you want to request a serial number from uh, Voron, if you need to be under 15 minutes. So if that doesn't work yet. Yeah, I, I see it. <laughs> for furious isn't bad now so i'm not sure if we can stay under 15. still have three minutes to go and i think we're gonna vote for 16 minutes with this it's definitely Do I have to enable captions myself? Is this uh, something that... Maybe we should have a captions... Uh, yeah, we should have captions for the stream. That's actually not, too, not a bad idea. Is this something that I can do for Twitch? I'm not sure. For Furious, you should... <laughs> Speed factor is on 100%, but I'm, I had cranked up the settings quite a, quite a lot. Okay, so we have 14 minutes, 20 seconds. Oh my goodness, I don't think we're not gonna make it on the 15. We still had to push it. We need to find better print settings. Question is, can we accelerate faster or can we just uh, increase the print speed? It's a very good question. What, what are the limits here? Yeah, we're still doing the, we're still doing the roof. That's, that's gonna slow us down now. So, okay, we're over 15 minutes. Um, let's see how much we're actually going to be over, over time. Definitely want to be under 15 minutes uh, with the final final bench. If we if we do a serial number application, I need to check. Um, uh, 
How does it look like? Okay, so we need to, do we need to be under a certain time? Okay, we need to be ready to stop the timer. Okay, first complete Banshee done in 16 minutes 23 seconds. Which is, it's okay. However, not the most beautiful Banshee ever. Let's say um, this were the lower areas. I increased the temperature by 10 degrees, somewhat around here, and it improved. So I guess uh, there was an extrusion issue because of the print temperature being too low. Then it got much better. Uh, bed temperature is probably too high. We probably reduce it um, because this is sticking like crazy. Um, I think we can go down to 50 degrees or something or 55. Uh, so we have less of an elephant foot here. But yeah, nevertheless, uh, it's a Benchy and we can probably push it to be under 15 minutes. Um, my personal goal, because we, we had um, print time under 15 minutes on the V100 already and we should be able to do this with the Warren. If I'm honest. Thank you for watching. We're gonna see each other next time here on the stream or in another video on this channel and until then I wish you a good rest of the day, rest of the week. Enjoy your time, enjoy printing. Bye bye.